Hello, my name is Swiss Bianco. In this video I will talk about a new version of the Swiss Army knives, the cheese Swiss Army knife. It comes in this unique box. That's why I did not unbox it yet. We see on the front the number of this limited edition new cheese Swiss Army knife. As we open it up, it unfolds. We have inside a box with the actual knife. What is interesting is how they did make the outer part of the cardboard not to waste material. That's a typical, a typical uh, Swiss thing. So I want to show that and point that out here in this video too. Really nice unique box. Then we go further to the box inside the, the cardboard. It's black with a nice Swiss logo, a pull tab to open it up. And here we have the Swiss Army knife, the cheese knife. On display on top we have the manual. I'm gonna take that out in a minute. That's how this limited edition looks like. The manual is like a, a booklet slides out. We look on this first to make it more more uh, appreciable for the Swiss Army knife. That's how it looks. Inside we have nice printing, art printing of cows. Because it's a cheese Swiss army knife that hangs together of course with the famous Swiss cows on the, on the Alps. Really nice done. Then we have explaining on the next pages also in English you can always stop the video and look closer at it I basically go to the English version most of us speak English so this Swiss Army knife this Swiss cheese knife has a horn handle I'm gonna point that out later in the video Basically the handle is made out of genuine horn engraved with a number. The Swiss cross is made of galatit milk stone. The milk stone is a special sort of milk. It's hard to explain. Best would be in English to uh, google it up. It's uh, really unique. As best I know that is the, the only knife I ever hear that use milk stone on it. That's really, really raw. Then we have another art. Basically we see a caserai, a, a, a store where the farmers bring the milk that they make cheese inside that building out of it. It's usually also a little, a little store that you can not only bring the, the milk, you can also buy the, the cheese we see on top of the building, the, the cows next to the word to the word uh, caserai, cheesery. And uh, on front we see in the in the window we see here I'm gonna point that out a bit better. We see here the cow bell hanging in the in the window. Below we see a piece of, of cheese that is already cut it on. Quite likely a sign with the, with the name of the cheese what they all have. Outside we have quite likely empty empty uh, compartments for, for transport the milk. They are usually made out of stainless steel in Switzerland and, and reused and washed again. Uh, here we see 
one of them quite likely with the uh, with the uh, rubber hose for wash it out in front of the of the store uh, that that whole scenery in this picture is quite likely relative uh, uh, from a, from a drawing from an older painting or something because the the house on the on the side with the, with the light the street light uh, we even see the the window that goes into the cellar that is uh, looks looks really really from the countryside with the, with the flowers by the by the windows and uh, quite likely from the older times but still there is people that live like this in Switzerland not too far from where I come from by the mountains and uh, that is still done we see uh, also that this is a is a farmer he has uh, quite some uh, boots on and he bring the milk the milk on a on a little wagon that is a uh, that he push by hand that's also a tradition uh, uh, back then even they used some some dogs for uh, pulling this this little wagon with maybe uh, two or three little little uh, devices with with the milk in it so so that is a typical a typical uh, wagon they also uh, put those behind the bicycles in Switzerland I remember I, I did uh, use those uh, also by the Swiss military sometimes. It's a really nice uh, picture here that we see. Shows a good bit uh, how it is in uh, Switzerland. Still is. Then on the next pages we have the Swiss cheese. Quality from, from Switzerland. Of course, we did make cheese for for uh, way many decades, and and uh, over 40, 450 different sorts. That is uh, amazing. We once even at the school did make our own cheese to to learn how that works. A uh, pretty long time ago, but uh, yeah, I still see it how how that did look. It was a, a smaller one, and we had to to uh, prepare it with salt water for about two or three months something like that and then finally it was good enough and then we could eat it so that was quite a quite a deal for us uh, kids back then in Switzerland in the in the school now the next art we see in a uh, in a caserai, quite likely how that looks uh, inside. Uh, we see, we see a bit of uh, cheese on the table. Uh, the window we see, we see some tools on the shelf high up. Uh, then we see a man that already go and work with the milk as they, the milk gets a bit, bit uh, less fluid. They need to to uh, do with this device. That, that it uh, cuts a bit and all that that is pretty labor intensive if you do it by hand like this man but it uh, looks really nice and on the other side we see uh, quite likely the boss he goes with uh, with another bucket full of of a uh, fluid somewhere in another room and uh, yeah yeah we see here also a sink we see here a sink and on top quite likely the, the staff for disinfect the, the hands. We see the coat of the of the people hanging there. Also a nice a nice scenery. That is already the end of it. It comes to how to close the knife. Uh, this knife as we see later is not a side lock, it has a liner lock, uh, mainly because of the horn scales the Swiss cow horn so it's also about how to wash it uh, as you use it with cheese uh, that that for sure gets a bit dirty so you need to know how to, to wash it and and uh, clean it and oil it at the end uh, the warranty of course the Victorinox lifetime warranty it's also the the manufacturer listed of the let's go to the English part of the 
Cowhorn Scales. It is a company that polder optic that did that basically make a horn framed glasses as best as I know and they did help in collaboration with Victorian Oxford create this unique Swiss cow horn scale so thanks a lot to this company that that is a uh, for sure great that that works that that they uh, could do this together to create such a such a uh, unique knife with that milkstone Swiss cross inlay of course the, the pattern and the color of the horn is a uh, unique I put this manual aside and then we have a look on the knife itself finally but surely we see the knife itself we see the brown pattern with the swirl the color of the, the knife I take it out of the, the box open up the main blade and here we have this beauty we see the scale with the nearly a little bit translucent see-through scales yeah we see also the rivets a little bit through that part here I did think is a a bit dust but no that is part of the of the horn actually the it's a little bit like veins kind of kind of art it's hard to to say in English for me but you see that is all not natural material and the inlay the the Swiss cross there is the the milkstone is really nice and flat flush made Quite likely it was liquid as they as they inlay it to get it so so flush and then they machined the the uh, the dimple out to get it so so flush really nice made on the blade itself we see the the engraving the Swiss cheese knife this one has a serrated edge is a limited edition as I flip it over we see the back side there is no slide lock that would have been too too uh, much of a problem to add the slide lock the red one that I put now on my hand is the original cheese knife so there we see the the slide lock the slide lock on the side so that was was not possible they added on the liner lock here I'm gonna show that in a minute this red one is a standard one that we did do with file work on the main blade by Tom Stratton so basically the the team of this knife is the same we see the oval dimple and the, the Swiss cross in the in the middle the white one pretty much pretty much the same that much to the red version the tools are all the same we have the main blade with the serrated edge that's nice for uh, cutting the cheese also or or a uh, meat or the bread in Switzerland we have really hard bread so uh, that that comes in handy with the serrated edge of course the corkscrew many people that eat a bit of cheese in Switzerland they like a bit of wine too we have the split ring that you don't lose the knife now to close the main blade we have the liner lock here that we basically press and then we close the knife it has a bit of a stop here so you don't cut yourself the blade won't fall into place and then the main cheese blade opens this one has no lock 
it has a strong back spring so there is no lock needed now the construction of the cheese plate is uh, the following the the tips here that is that are really blunt but that is basically to to uh, stick into smaller pieces of cheese and use it like a fork to eat that's why it looks like this then of course we have the blade that that cuts and we have the three cut out that is that the cheese doesn't stick on the blade if we would uh, cut the cheese with a regular blade many times the cheese is so yeah wet or it's just uh, or moist yeah that that the cheese really uh, sticks on the blade sometimes it even uh, yeah it's a little bit like a tape kind of thing it it sticks too much so so uh, eating cheese with a with a blade like this is way better to to cut it apart that's why they choose to to use this uh, this knife blade design on on the, the cheese knife uh, there is way many many cheese knives in uh, switzerland on the market that basically are non-folding knives fixed knives with with that kind of kind of a blade style so uh, that is not not something unusual what i have to say the regular version of the of the cheese knife we will uh, make some limited editions in the future from from this uh, knife the scales that is not sure yet but we will add some more tools the to, to make it quite likely a three layer Swiss army knife that's the future what will come on this model here that is a limited edition made basically for the Swiss market uh, there is did not many of those come to USA or Canada so that is for sure a, a rare knife how it is here that's why I made uh, such a long video to show you all the details because quite likely you you will never much uh, see one of those of those knives that much about the limited edition of the cheese knife